crack open a Topo Chico because it's way too early for a White Claw. We got some news about Miller vs. Becerra, the California assault weapon ban lawsuit. Let's talk about it today. I'm happy first that I could demonstrate to you the only use for an AK-47, but today we're talking about Miller vs. Becerra and we have a little bit of information. Uh, it's not that big. This video is going to be fairly short, but first I just got to say thank you to Franklin Armory for supporting this channel, allowing me to do what I'm able to do. If it wasn't for them, I would not be able to continually be able to put out updates like this and constantly make you guys aware of what's going on. I do my best to make sure my information is as best as it is, but I'm always going to leave sources so that you can get it firsthand without my interpretation. So if you don't want to hear anything that I have to say, go ahead and click those links. But feel free to check out Franklin Armory because they are a very big supporter of this channel. Also, something like 60 to 70% of you aren't subscribed to the channel but are still watching these videos. So if you want to know more and if you want to be the first one to know when new stuff is going to happen, turn on post notifications and, subscri and subscribe. But if not, let's talk about it. So what happened today with Miller versus Becerra? Let's get into it. Like always, I just want to share with you this Twitter account. It's Rob at 2A Updates. He is a person that puts out a whole lot of information when it comes to court cases, news, things just that are happening when it comes to gun laws or just the gun community. Excellent source of information. You should definitely go follow him. But he tweeted this out with the court listener information. Miller versus Becerra, the assault weapons ban, evidentiary hearing set for 10-19 at 9.30 a.m. in courtroom 5A before Judge Roger T. Benitez. Basically, what's going on here is they're actually going to have a hearing. Last time when I talked about the... Uh, uh, conference that they were having. I called it a hearing, but really what it was was just them setting dates, saying what's up to each other, seeing how it's going. Uh, the state tried to get the case dismissed. Benita says, nah, man, we're going to go through with it. And the date that they both decided being Judge Roger T. Benitez and the plaintiffs and the defendants, they decided on October 19th at 9.30 a.m., I am unsure if this is going to be live streamed. I don't believe it is. If I end up finding out if this is actually going to be able to be uh, watched live, I would definitely be interested in live streaming that out so that you guys can chat along uh, while it's going on. But set your dates. That is the day that they're going to have a conference on the information, whether or not there's a decision. It probably won't be the next day or the same day. I guarantee you it's not going to be super fast. But if something is going to happen, it's going to be happening after the date of 1019 at 930 a.m. The next time I make a video about this case will most likely either be talking about the hearing itself, if the hearing goes well and what I think about it, or after that some period of time, it'll be actually if there's a real update, like if there's an order that comes through from Benitez either for or against it, we will see. Ultimately, the biggest news here is that we have a date set for an actual hearing when it comes to the assault weapon ban case. When there is a decision, I will be sure to share that information with you when there is some sort of action that, hey, you got to do this now, because if there is some sort of weird grandfather period or temporary period where we are able to assemble assault weapons as far as the state considers it. So let's say just for example, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but let's just speculate. If there is a time where I can take the fin grip off my AK and put a stock on my AR and it would make it legal if I did it during a certain period of time, I would wanna make sure that I was doing it when it's possible. So if you are concerned and you want to be in a position that you're ready to be able to do that sort of thing, it might make sense to have the parts laying around to convert to an assault weapon if there's gonna be some sort of grandfather phase. If you wanna be able to be alerted and first to know when that's possible, follow me. I will let you know when there's information, when there's movement but it's all speculation right now. If you don't already own pistol grips for your compliant firearms, uh, what are you doing? You should probably just own those things anyway because it's not illegal to own generally a pistol grip. So I don't know, might be a good idea. If not, don't worry about it if you don't want to try to fit into this, but if things happen, it's probably going to happen fast and you're going to want to act on it immediately. So just be prepared, be ready and turn on post notifications. Like I said, I'll let you know when stuff happens, but also follow Rob at 2A Updates. Excellent Twitter account. If you're a gun 
If you're interested in the gun community, interested in gun laws, you definitely need to be following him because he puts out a lot of great information. You guys know the drill though. Have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace. <laughs>